Welcome to Ben Salutes, and when I was a kid, gay was a synonym for brony. Well folks, I'm back with another salute on the greatest show ever. Not as good as Redneck Island and Monday Night Raw, but still freaking amazing. It's none other than... Okay Ben, you can do this. Just sit down at the computer chair and... Um, who the heck are you? I'm Ben. No, you're not. I'm Ben. You're not. You're some... What do you call them? What, clones? No, homos. That doesn't make any... Whatever. The point is, I'm Ben. No, I'm Ben. Me, 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 There can't be two of us, moron! Then how come we're both here? I can explain that. Now, Ben. Yes? He means me, stupid. You're gay. Yes, random science guy? If you think back to your video on Fred the Show, the gray version of you is the exact opposite of you. He was what you turned into due to massive exposure to the before-mentioned show. So, why is he here? It seems that due to a misbalance of air molecules, he somehow split away from your innermost mind and has become his own physical being. That doesn't make even the smallest amount of sense. It doesn't have to. You're in a YouTube video. Okay, thanks random science guy. You're a welcome. Man, what a queer he was. His big words hurt my head. Well, since you're here, I guess I'm going to have to make my rant on Marvin Marvin with you. <gasps> How dare you! What? How dare you not like this amazing show that is so amazing! You actually like this? Of course! It's the greatest show ever made! I thought Fred the Show was... <laughs> what are you crying about? Oh, that's right. That got cancelled. One of Nick's smartest decisions. Which was completely negated when they created this piece of monkey trash. Stop dissing this show, you homo! Oh, shut up, bi- Hmm. I can't call you Ben. That's my name. Well, to prevent any confusion, I'm going to call you Neb. That's a gay name. Everything is gay to you. Well, get ready for a piece of intergalactic crap. Here is my rant and my salute on Marvin Marvin. So, this show stars Lucas Christit... Christit... That guy who plays Fred as an alien from outer space who lives with a family, and it's done the style of a sitcom. Gee... That's never been done before. So, Marvin tries to live the life of an alien on Earth, and hilarious situations happen from there. If you mean hilarious by a bunch of people yelling the names of objects, then I agree. Why you gotta be like that, man? Why do you have to be so gay? Do you even know what that word means? Yes? I'm waiting for an answer. Gay means... You. Okay, so if you call something gay, it means that certain thing is me? Yes. You're an idiot. Anyway, I had to hypnotize myself into watching two episodes of this show, and I'm surprised I still have a pulse. So, let's take a look at the episode Toothache. Oh boy! This is my favorite episode! It would be. So, in this episode, Marvin gets addicted to chocolate and spends half the episode begging his family members for chocolate. It gets to the point where he goes into his sister's room and insults her on her looks. Our protagonist, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, you like Marvin? No. But you introduced him to the audience with lots of pride in your voice. I was being sarcastic, Nemrod. Stop using big words, you gay wad. Plus, why are you complaining about him being mean to his sister? Siblings are supposed to hate each other. That's a load of bull spit! Not all siblings in the entertainment media have to hate each other. I mean, just look at Rarity and Sweetie Belle and Ponies. They get along just fine, and it- <laughs> What are you laughing about? You watch My Little Pony. You're so gay. I do not watch My Little Pony. I watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was wrong. You're not gay. You're really gay. Love and tolerate, Ben. Love and tolerate. Anyway, 
Family dinner night is canceled in the family's house, so Marvin eats a bunch of chocolate, and the audience laughs at him eating chocolate. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! He's eating chocolate! That's all he's doing! He's not doing anything funny while eating chocolate. He's just eating chocolate. Are you seriously laughing at that? Well, that's one of the things I'm laughing at. What's the other? You watch my little pony! <laughs> I bet your girlfriend must really think weirdly about you. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm single. <laughs> wow, you're really proving how gay you are. You don't even have a girlfriend. Neither do you! <laughs> oh, give me a break, you big baby. So, it gets to the point where Marvin eats so much chocolate that he gets a toothache, saying that it wasn't his fault. That's right, kids. If you do something which causes something horrible to happen, it's not your fault. Don't interrupt me, homo. So, Marvin's family has to remove the tooth or it'll explode. Awesome. We get to see an explosion. Don't count on it, kid. This is a Nick sitcom. They can't even afford real writers. There will be an explosion in this show. Just you wait. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. So, for the rest of the episode, they try to yank the tooth out, even though it has to be pulled out in a specific order, which they eventually do, and they throw it outside, and it explodes! No, stock footage fireworks appear. That is so awesome! One wonders how the fireworks got all the way in the sky when they clearly just threw the tooth outside on the lawn. Stop ruining this moment, you gay wad! I'm trying to watch the fireworks! You know, you could always go to a store and buy fireworks and use them in your own home. That takes time and effort I don't have. Because you don't want to have it. You're gay! I swear, my fans can make a drinking game out of the amount of times you called me that word. What? Your? No, the- Oh, forget it. So, at the end of this episode, after all the pain he went through, Marvin goes back to eating chocolate. Wow, this is one of the easiest characters to hate. He's basically handing all the negative traits to me on a silver platter. Anyway, this episode was awesome! It was hilarious and original! No, it wasn't! Toothache episodes of sitcoms have been done since the creation of TV. Yeah, but this toothache episode had an explosion in it. And you call this hilarious? I had a feeling the stock audio of the audience laughing was on something. You're wrong. This episode was a comic gem. Alright, tell me something funny from this episode. Uh, you're gay. Thought so. So let's move on to the next episode, Ice Pop Pop. Oh boy, this is my favorite episode. You said that about the previous episode. Yes, but this one is slightly more of my favorite than my favorite. Your parents must be really proud of you. So, this episode starts off with Marvin eating inspired yogurt. <laughs> oh, come on! How is that funny? He's just eating yogurt. That's expired. But there's no joke. He's just eating something. Would you stop being gay and laugh for once? When something funny on this show hap... <laughs> oh, man, I couldn't finish that sentence with a straight face. So, Marvin finds Grandpa's driver's license and sees that it has an expiration date on it, and he thinks it's for Grandpa. You think a family that adopts a frickin' alien would teach him all about Earth? Then they wouldn't have a show, homo! And I would be just fine with that. So, for most of the episode, Marvin does nice things for Grandpa, and Grandpa takes advantage of Marvin's idiocy. I mean, stupidity. I mean, innocence. Eventually, Marvin thinks he can save Grandpa by freezing him, so that's exactly what he does which would most likely kill him due to the fact his bloodstream would stop functioning and all of his internal organs would die from deep freeze and... SHUT UP! IT'S JUST A TV SHOW, MORON! So what? That doesn't give it an excuse to insult the intelligence of the people watching it. Though, if there are people watching this show, they don't have much intelligence to be insulted. How many times have I told you to stop using big words, you gay wad? Case in point. So, for the rest of this episode, Marvin tries to hide frozen Grandpa from his adoptive parents. Eventually, the parents find out Marvin froze Grandpa, and guess what the dad says? He says that it's not Marvin's fault, and he wouldn't have frozen Grandpa if 
grandpa didn't take advantage of him. Are you freaking kidding me? Is this show ever going to admit when the main character does something wrong? It's clear they're making this show for kids, because no adult will possibly be stupid enough to actually enjoy this show. So why is it making such convoluted messages? If you do something wrong, you have to take responsibility for it. That would be like if I killed somebody who was dressed as Jason Voorhees, and somebody said it wasn't my fault because he shouldn't have been dressed like Jason Voorhees. I would give my hiney sent to jail because I should know better not to kill someone. No matter what the circumstances. I'm not a U.S. politician. I can't get away with crap like that. And neither should Marvin. You don't have to yell, homo. Can you blame me? I'm angry. Then use your inside voice. I don't have an inside voice! So, Grandpa is unfrozen and sees that Marvin is an old person who is about to die. Marvin then makes Grandpa drink a smoothie with yucky ingredients in it. And it turns out it was just a trick pulled off by the family. And it was hilarious. HILARIOUS?! That's downright hypocritical! Okay, so Grandpa can't trick you, but you can trick him. Who's writing this show? Bill O'Reilly? Would you lighten up? It's harmless. Yeah, no wonder why bullying is such a problem in this country. We got shows like this teaching kids how to fight fire with fire. Stop using those... What are they called? Metaphors? No, homos. Anyway, this episode sucks. It was boring, unfunny, and is rotting the brains of our children, and yet soccer moms are too busy blaming derpy hooves for stuff like that. Don't listen to this, Gaywad. This episode was awesome. Okay, that's it. I can't stand doing this video with you anymore. In the cage? No! No! I don't want to be in a gay cage! There's an Xbox 360 with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in it. Really? Cage, here I come! Finally, with that Nimrod gone, I can rip this show a new one the proper way. Right off the bat, this is a sitcom that stars Lucas Crick... Kirkadate... Hansel, that guy who plays Fred. Even though his voice doesn't make you wish you were deaf, he is still annoying. Probably because he plays an annoying, moronic alien. I guess that's all he's good at, playing annoying, moronic characters. Another thing, how many times have we seen a TV show or movie that deals with an outsider trying to fit into human society? So many times that I need a freaking book just to list them all. This show offers nothing new to the formula. It's the same crap. Also, this show has no humor. I'm not kidding. No jokes are made in this show. The audience laughs at nothing. The laugh track is really insulting to the viewer's intelligence. It's like the show's creators know whatever humor they're going for on this show isn't funny, so they add a laugh track to remind viewers to laugh. Screw that! I'm not laughing at something just because a recording of a group of people laughing at something funny is. And finally, a big gripe I have with this show is something that I hate when a TV show does, is that it has an animated opening, even though it's a live-action sitcom. It's such a freaking contradiction! It would be like if the Flintstones had an animated opening, and then all of a sudden... Oh, God. Plus, during the opening for this show, Marvin's animated character looks directly at the audience, and he has a big creepy rape grin on his face. It's something that gave me jitters while watching. I'm afraid to go to sleep now because I can't get it out of my head. I couldn't find a picture of it on Google. But that's a good thing because I don't want you folks to have to see it. Consider you folks lucky. You get to sleep peacefully for the rest of your life. Truck you. Anyway, there's my rant on Marvin Marvin. Hopefully, this generation of kids are starting to grow some brain cells, and they'll prevent themselves from watching this show, causing it to fall down the depths of TV hell just like Fred the Show, and parents will be safe from stupid kids programming. That is, until the two iCarly spinoffs premiere. What happened to you, Dan Schneider? Anyway, I'm Ben, and I'm signing out. I'm gonna go warm up a pot of coffee. Can't sleep. Marvin will eat me. Can't sleep. Marvin will eat me.